to everybody who watched our trailer and caught my last video with Stephen Cornett. Thank you so much, you guys. It really makes my day to see you guys leave a comment. So thank you for saying hi. It's always so nice to hear from all of you guys. If you caught my last video, you know that my friend Steven healed his acne, his cystic acne by changing his diet. And we know that diet has a profound impact on our health. So we decided to give plant-based dieting a test run this month to see if it would have any positive impacts on our health as well. I wanna share with you like what are our thoughts on plant-based dieting? Why did we decide to change our diet so radically? And offering you the best of the best because we did try a lot of different recipes this month and there were only a few that we were really excited about. And to answer the question, why did we decide to go plant-based? I have to bring on one of my favorite people in the whole world. Ready? Me? Yeah, yeah. All right, so. Oh, you're pretty be done picking your head. <laughs> you okay? All right, so the first question is, why in the heck did we start eating a plant-based diet? And for that question, I've brought a very special guest on the show, my husband, Tommy, to tell us why in the heck did we start? Well, we watched a documentary on Netflix. We're so easily persuaded that we started. <laughs> So that documentary was called What the Health. Good documentary, but Tommy had some really good points about the documentary that I think are worth noting. And you said that they really left some stuff out. What do you feel like they didn't consider in that documentary? Uh, eating higher quality meats. You know, it was definitely pushing an agenda. Yeah, it felt, it felt pretty one-sided, which I thought was a good point. And their emphasis in that movie is all about CAFOs or the bad place where they're the animals, terrible. they're bad. We know that they're bad. And yet so many animals are raised in these really confined, really horrible conditions. And so the movie really focuses on not eating animals from CAFOs, which is a great point. However, I feel like that is a little short-sighted and Tommy pointed that out and I thought that was a really good point. I know, but can you scoot over a little bit? Yeah. Now it looks like we're in love, closer. Yeah, I don't see the difference. It's a difference. So that's why we decided to go plant-based for a month and we are here. <laughs> What the heck? I'm looking at the camera. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. So for the last month, we have stopped. This is all with your neck. What I don't know. You're being a flexy boy with your neck. I have a flexible neck. <laughs> Okay, so for the last month, we've eaten primarily a plant-based diet. We have recorded all of our favorite recipes to share with you, and we're gonna go through and rate each of those recipes uh, as you guys watch this video. So, buckle up, it's time to cue the recipe montage. <laughs> Don't be passive aggressive with your pasta. Stop! You're trying to get yourself out of frame on purpose. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the first recipe is oatmeal. We obviously love that recipe. I, what would you give it? A nine out of 10. It just said 10 out of 10 and then he changed it. Well, I forgot we weren't putting brown sugar in it. That would make it a 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, I, maple syrup's a pretty good substitute, so. I give this recipe a 10 out of 10. It is so good. I don't get tired of eating yeah. it. You can't yeah. skip on the apples though. If you have just raisins, it's pretty much like a seven out of 10. You need the sliced apples. Yeah, I would agree The apples really make the difference. Mm -hmm. I'm a bigger fan of the raisins, but the apples are also nice for crisp. Get away with just apples. <laughs> okay, Gordon Ramsay. I hope you're so proud of this guy right here. He's doing really good. Checking yourself out. <laughs> the cat looks like you are. <laughs> so... <laughs> I was checking my mustache was even. Oh. Cauliflower steak. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> Stop laughing. I feel 
like you're gonna prank me. No. <laughs> okay. Sweet cherry is Argentine, and as some of you guys know, I'm Argentine, so this is one of my favorite flavors to play with in the kitchen, and finding a new recipe to use this with was really fun. Um, I would give this recipe like an eight or a nine out of 10, maybe like an eight, um, only because sometimes I get tired of the purple potatoes as cool as I think that they are. And sometimes my chimichurri like ratio is way off. So that's just something I need to work on on my end in the kitchen. But overall I would say like an eight, solid eight or nine out of 10. What would you rate this recipe? Pretty much, I was thinking eight out of 10. Uh, the biggest detractor is it is in fact not steak, so. That's part of it. But uh, aside from that, you wouldn't believe it. It's not too, uh, it's full of flavor. It's not too uh, bland or anything. And you can get by on just vegetables, believe it or not. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, babe, it's not me. Yeah. It's cauliflower. Exactly. It's a plant-based video. I know. I'm saying that's why I <laughs> don't give it. <laughs> oh, you guys. Hi, it's editing Natalie and I'm dying editing this video. I hope you guys are thinking that it's as hilarious as I do. <laughs> DIY Chipotle burrito bowls. It's the closest thing that I could think of that incorporated greens and lots of flavor that was similar to something you might get at Chipotle or like, well, Chipotle. Um, I really enjoyed this recipe. This is another one of those that I don't get tired of very easily. I would give this one a probably seven and a half out of 10 only because I've eaten it so many times at this point that it's like hard to think about having it again. Yeah, I'd give it a seven or eight mainly because it's really filling so I don't know it, it's it's a good meal for the day especially lunch keeps you going uh, but one thing it does keep going too is it makes you very gassy so be aware of that <laughs> <laughs> we will talk about that more in a moment <laughs> Yeah, me too. Thank you so much for exchanging recipes with me. I'm really excited for you on your Whole30 journey, and uh, I feel more equipped to do this whole plant-based thing, so thank you so much. Not a problem. Anytime. I'm always here, you know? <laughs> hey, you know, I'm just keeping it a good life over here, you know? Yeah. It's always there. <laughs> I'm so glad I got to chat with you. Well, thank you, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. is from my friend Tammy over at Life's Just Ducky and this recipe is vegan chili. Now I'm an avid like meat loving chili gal so this recipe was really different for me. She really talked it up. It had a lot to live up to and I would say that the flavor was great but having chili without meat in it was actually kind of challenging for me. So I would give it like a solid seven maybe an eight out of ten for flavor but this is one of those recipes where like my mind is just set on having meat in it and nothing really changes that. Um, also, I forgot to add tomato paste, so maybe that would have made a difference. I don't know. Probably. Yeah, probably would have made it like a little thicker or something. Um, but 
It was still really good. I really enjoyed the flavors. Uh, again, I was definitely missing the meat on this one, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm a meat chili kind of guy. I'm a huge fan of meat chili. Um, and I also like all the accoutrements. Uh, <laughs> accoutrements meaning sour cream, cheese. Onions. Onions. Yeah, but mainly the sour cream and cheese are the things we wouldn't have had here. Um, I like all of that, right? Uh, including, you know, the good uh, beef in there. I think that adds a certain flavor to the chili that you can't just get with all vegetables. So very creative, uh, not my favorite though. And that really just comes down to how much I like regular chili, so. Same. Give it a seven out of 10. Same. <clears throat>
that is a source, but I have not felt like I've been lacking. Like I'm not like, oh no, like I'm so tired because I don't have my protein. I felt fine, like relatively fine with my energy levels, not lacking protein. I have felt very protein satisfied on this diet. So that's definitely something that I needed to kind of prove to myself. And so I'm glad I did this diet just for that. And to kind of, again, like break the mold of what I'm used to of like always seeing meat or an animal product on the plate. Um, so anyway, rant over. So we've been losing light this entire time. So that's going to be really fun to edit. Anything else you want to say? Cool. Thank you so much. Slap like. <laughs> We watch a lot of Davey 504 around here. Oh my god, yeah, he's probably my favorite YouTuber. I mean, besides, hey, it's a good life, of course. Triggered. He just, he loves me and supports me, and that's a good thing. You guys, thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. We really enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Uh, this was a collaboration, like I said earlier, with my friend Tammy from Life's Just Ducky, and we want to open it up to more people. So I'm going to go ahead and tag two friends one of whom you saw earlier in the video, Jen from Sunshine Farm. They are plant setters, which means that they eat a plant-based diet and homestead, and they're really kind of delving into the world of veganism as well. And they've got lots of videos and resources on that, so I think that might be a great resource for you guys to go check out. So Jen, you've been tagged. Can't wait to see what recipes you come up with. I also want to tag my sweet friend Amber from the Haskins family vlog. Amber is always sending me Marco Polos of some delicious meal that she is making that does not have animal products in it. And I'm always asking her for recipes. So Amber, tag your it, show us your three favorite recipes. Would love to see them. If you're still watching this video, thanks so much for making it to the end. It was great to be with you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Do your hand on the camera thing, on the camera. Bye. 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 <laughs>